Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ian Preston here. Excuse me, on my first channel, Ian Preston, and welcome back to another, excuse me, another Cobra Kai video. And I wanted to talk about this because I was having these thoughts in my head. Um, sorry, um, I was talking about, I was thinking about what if I was in the show Cobra Kai? Like, what if they got me to be in it? And I would have been in season one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd be through the whole, through the whole um, show and I'd be just called Ian Preston. And yes, even though I have autism in real life, my character would also have autism. So yeah, and my character would, would just be trying to fit in and all and be friends with people, have a girlfriend, learn karate and all. But anyway, um, I would be introduced sometime in season one. Like I'd be one of the, I'd be kind of, I wouldn't be, ooh, I would also want to say um, I would be Moon's cousin in the show. Like Moon and I would be cousins in the show and I thought that'd be cool if me and Moon were cousins in the show. And At first, and yeah, me and Sam would be friends because me and Moon would be cousins and I would make friends with Dimitri, Miguel, and Eli when he wasn't Eli yet, when he wasn't Hawk yet. No, y Yasmin wouldn't be, make, wouldn't be friendly to me at first. She wouldn't be too friendly to me at first. And um, I would get, I'd be on my little walk. Yasmin would see me. She would try to make fun of me. She would trap me in some little locker thingy. And yeah, she wouldn't be very friendly to me. And then she would say goodbye to me like, ta-ta or, or au revoir, au revoir. And then she'll, she'll say au revoir, me go, or however you say French and French and, um, I remember you say friend in French, I, I thought it was Camaro at one point, but anyway, or she would say kiss, kiss, like a goodbye if she trapped me in something, but I might have had a dream about that, but then eventually, yeah, either Miguel would get me out, or yes, he would notice I would be, someone would saying help, he would get me out, but other than that, I would try to avoid Yasmin for the rest of the season, and make it think, think that she's, um, she she would think that I'd be trapped or something, but yeah. But other than that, I would tell Moon the whole thing, and Moon would I wouldn't want to get involved with Yasmin or anything, and Moon would agree. And eventually, I would be kind of the shy person. I would join Cobra Kai briefly with most of the kids there, but then I would leave because I'd be hurt by Johnny. And then season two, I'd be hanging out with Dimitri and Hawk, and when he become Hawk and Moon, and um, and. Yes, I'd be there when Yasmin would get the front wedgie. Yep. And think it would be funny and thought she would deserve it. But I would hang out with, I'd also hang out with Hawk and Dimitri and Miguel and still Sam here and there and uh, Moon because she's my cousin in the show. And um, I'd be still Ian Preston. I wouldn't have a character name and I would still have autism. And at the beach, at one at the beginning of the episodes in season two where Dimitri sees these two girls um, that they're very pretty and he's like, most deaf, I'd like to join you guys. I would get a girlfriend immediately at that beach and I'd stick with that girl and it would be um, one of the girls that were, um, I could see my character dating this character, um, dating um, um, Estelle. Um, she was one of the girls and she wasn't in, she wasn't introduced until season five. She wasn't there until season five because she was one of the passengers Johnny picked up in season five, um, episode three, I think, or was it episode four, downward spiral? Spiral, yeah. When he's like, "Is one of you guys named Michael?" That's Michaela, and one of and the blonde girls. Her name was Estelle, played by Brooke Sill. She would be my character's girlfriend, and she'd be introduced early in season two, because me and that character, my character and my, that character, would be starting to date. And when I hear what Hawk tried to do to Dimitri, I would refuse to join Cobra Kai, and Estelle would like my um, choice. And I get to hang out, and also in the scene where Moon and Sam are hanging out. I'd get to hang out with them because Moon's my cousin, and um, and I would. Gosh, Sam would convince me to join Miyagi Do. She would start teaching me Miyagi Do. She wanted me to, since I have autism, she wanted me to, she wanted to go easy on me, and I would learn Miyagi Do. And um, during the school fight, I'd try. I'd get out of the school. I step outside because I didn't want to see what was happening and all I'd be scared season three would have my ups my ups and downs and all and eventually um Yasmin would 
I would not have to deal with Kyler eventually here and there. I'd be avoiding him, but eventually Yasmin um, would be back in season three, like we all know. And when she pities Dimitri, Moon tells me, hey, Yasmin has changed. Um, oh, and she'll, she'll notice me and she'll be like, hi, Ian. And I'll be like, no, Moon. And I would hide behind Moon, scared of y y Yasmin. And then she'll be like, Yasmin has changed. Don't worry. Why don't you, I'm going to let you two get acquainted. I'm like, no, but I'd be like, it's okay. And then she'll be like, don't worry. And then she'll want to make up with me. She'll she'll make an apology to me. She'll talk about how she's now dating Dimitri. And she'll talk about how sorry she is for the way she treated me. And she's regretted it. And she said, this is not a joke. And she tells me, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. And I'd be like, you know, to be honest, it kind of did feel good to get picked on by a beautiful, pretty girl. So, yeah. And then we'll shake hands and... Yasmin like, maybe, we'll, maybe we can start over. She'll be like, hi, I'm Yasmin. Hi, I'm Ian. Nice to meet you. And then me and Yasmin will become friends. And I would end up in the house fight with Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang. And Tori would kind of not be... Tori would try to... Would leave me stranded with two Cobra Kai dudes to end me. And they would she would order them to end me. And then they would, I had a dream about this, and then Tori just smiled, would smile prettily and say, adios amigo, toodaloo, or something, and yeah. But other than that, um, eventually um, I would manage to get out of there, and Miguel and Hawk and Dimitri would save my life. And eventually um, I, would, I would not go into the little dojo room where Sam is dealing with Tori, because I wouldn't want Tori to see me. And she wouldn't see me as I leave, as she leaves. Better than that, I'd team up with them in season four. I'd be avoiding Tori and Cobra Kai stuff, Cobra Kai people. And yeah, Robbie and I were buddies until he joined Cobra Kai. And then eventually, um, I would be, um, I'd take Estelle to prom. And I would make it to the tournament. And oh yeah, there will be times AJ's, AJ's character, Edwin is his name. He would be picking on me, but I would be defending myself. He'd be trying to do something to Estelle. I'm like, you leave her alone, and I'd be able to defend myself against him and defeat him with my karate. And yes, better than that, um, I would eventually... He, we have our ups and downs. Like, yeah, and eventually I beat him at the tournament, and then I'd eventually lose to Robbie, and then eventually I wouldn't make it, but that's okay. I'd be kind of sad, and then Moon would comfort me, saying, you did your best, Ian, you did your best. Ugh. Excuse me, but other than that, Hawk would still win the All-Valley, and Dem Dem not Dimitri, Tori would still, I mean, Terry Silver would still pay off the ref and cheat, and have Tori make it look like she won or something. S season 5 events would carry on. Um, I'd hang out with Moon and Yasmin eventually during Season 5, and yes, they would invite me to the little diner with Sam when they're trying to help her with Miguel. And eventually, um, I get invited to the water park. I invite Estelle, but Estelle had plans with Michaela. She would ha she would hang out with her. I would hang out with Yasmin. She would tell me to have fun with my cousin Moon and my friends Yasmin and Sam. And um, we we would be sunbathing after a good swim, and then Miguel and Miguel and Hawk would appear. And um, apparently, um, apparently, eventually, after a second round, when everyone's swarming each other, going da 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 da, da at the park. Oh yeah, and there will be some times where I would interact with Amanda and try to help her out. Like here, Mrs. Larusso, I can help you with that, and be thoughtful for her. I'll be thoughtful for Shannon as well. Call her. I would. I would be calling her here, Miss Keen. I can help you with that. And there might be a scene in season three where I would interact with Allie. I'd be like, here, Miss Mills, I can help you with that. And yeah, it'd be nice. They'd be, those gals would be very thoughtful and, I mean, happy. Like, oh, Ian, you're so sweet. And anyway, but other than that, um, and let's carry on. We're, that was season three. Let's go back to season five of Cobra Kai. My character would be hanging out. Apparently the second round, Mr. Hawk would be like, come on, Ian, help us out with this. I'm like, I can't. I'm too scared. I'm not that strong. And he goes, he would say something kind of in a rude way because he's like angry about the whole Cobra Kai thing. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, um, 
I would start cry be crying. I would be hurt by Hawk's attitude, words, and all, and Moon and Yasmin would be comforting me, saying, it's okay, you didn't mean that. He's just really, he's just having a bad mood. He's having a bad moment. He, he's just having a bad day with the Cobra Kai people. And eventually, um, he would, before um, him and Tori race, um, I would be like, I mean, he would apologize to me, and I'd be like, it's okay, it happens. Um, and we'd handshake like good buddies and I'll tell her, tell him good luck and kick her A or something. And yeah, eventually we'd leave and then I'd be like, Moon, Yasmin, I want to go. It's getting a little scary. And I'd be shooken up by the drama and all. Eventually after the rest of the drama ends, uh, ends me, Moon, and Yasmin go to Moon's home. My parents would be out of town in the show. And then Moon would let me stay over the night at her house over the weekend with Yasmin. And I'd say, let's have an 80s movie night. Like, sure, what movies do you want to watch? What 80s movies do you want to watch? I'd say Breakfast Club, Weird Science, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, about Lost Boys. Um, oh, wow, what about Big? Yep. And then I'd vote for those, and they're like, okay, let's do that. Let's do it. Anyway, so yeah, but other than that... Um, We'd all team up eventually when Amanda comes back and um, let's convinces Daniel to join the fight to take down Terry Silver. I would join too, and also I'd be scared at first, but they would all say, "You're not alone. You have us." And um, um, well, actually, during the during the bad, I think it'd be during the bad eggs thing. I think um, I don't know. I can't tell, but other than that, um, I'm not sure. But other than that. Um, Maybe during the bad aches thing, I'd be like kind of nervous to like hang out with Robbie and my Robbie go, and me and Robbie would make up and like Hawk and Robbie did, and uh, we'd be buds again. And yeah, um, Daniel would convince me like in the episode before that that you got us, show so would chosen and so would Johnny and Amanda and yeah. But other than that, um, yes, yeah, season five events would carry on. Eventually, it'd be time for the for the excuse me, for the dojo fight. And eventually um, Sam would come and get me and then eventually I'd see Tori and like, oh no, not Tori. And then she'd be like, Ian, relax. She's on our side. Me and her made a deal. We have a plan tonight and we're going to need your help. But first, I'm going to have you two get acquainted. It'll be just like how you got acquainted with Yasmin. And I'm like, but I don't know, um, Sam she tried to kill me. I'm like, I know she did too, but I can forgive her and you can forgive her too. And she would leave me in, in the room alone with Tori. She'd explain a lot of stuff to me and I'd feel sorry for her. And I would say, I didn't know what you were going through and I'm so sorry. And then she'd be like, I'm the one that should be sorry to you. And she'd explain some stuff to me, how sorry she is for everything she's done. And she tells me, I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. And I'm like, of course, you deserve a second chance, Tori. And and I asked her, can we be friends? And then she's like, friends. And we'd shake hands and we decide to become friends. And then she's like, since you're going to, since now that, since now that you're willing to help, maybe we can help each other. And I'm like, yeah. And then she'd be like, you ready to help us take down Cobra Kai tonight? And I'm like, I don't know. And she'll, she'll also say that she'll be with me whole time and she won't let anything happen to me and she'll have my back so sam will say the same thing hawk dimitri and miguel and robbie would say the same thing i'd be like is it too late to turn back and they'd be like well M and mary sam and pa sam and tori would say no it's not it is too, it's it is too late to turn back you're coming in with us and then i'm like well i am scared no matter what happens tonight um i want to leave this dojo alive without being scared and if something happens can you to me can you please tell Estelle that I love her and then they'll be like you're gonna make it back you can tell her yourself and then Anthony was like kind of nervous too and I'd tell him the whole same thing and Sam would tell me Ian you're coming in with us and then eventually I'd be starting to get the hang of it when we go into the dojo trying to get some stuff together and then they'll be like can I stay here when we hear something's just trouble and they'll be like nope you're coming with us First, I'd hide behind Tori and also some of my friends that are females 
I'd be friends with some, I would have been friends with some of them before they joined Cobra Kai. And I would have been friends with some of those dudes before they joined Cobra Kai, the evil side. And I would hide behind Tori a little bit. And then eventually I'd come up and talk some sense into these people and tell them I'm not afraid anymore. But yeah, they wouldn't listen, of course. And then I would use, once we have to start karateing, I'd start doing the karate stuff and me, Sam and Tori would fight together. Sam and Tori would look out for me and say, are you good? Are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah. And then, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eventually Ed, Edwin and Kyler would corner me and say, and Edwin would say, this whole fight could go on for eternity, but can you? Kyler would be like, your friends can't help you now, boy. You're all alone. And I'd be like, no, I'm not. I mean, I eventually, oh yeah, they would have even told, my friends would have told me that I wouldn't be alone before going into the dojo and um eventually i'd use my karate skills to take down all the take down kyler i'd stand up to him say some words standing up to him and edwin and i'd use my karate moves to take them both down including edwin when he threatened that he would touch my girlfriend still and i'd be telling her you're not gonna touch her but you are gonna feel this and then i will and then i eventually eventually after defeating him i'd be wanting to do something tori would hold me back say hey hey forget him. He's not worth it. And I'm like, okay, you're right. And then as I'm fighting, I'll be like, this is actually really fun. And then eventually we'd be have to protect Anthony, protect the egg. And then eventually I'd be struggling. I'd be fighting Kenny after he's like, don't let him out. And then, oh gosh, hug of, hug of war. Oh no. And then he'd get it up on the TV and I'm like, friendly nudge him. I'm like, good job, buddy. Good job, Anthony. And then eventually when Terry Silva comes in and Tori reveals that it was our that it was our plan and then I'd be standing next to Tori and Terry Silva would look at us and I'd be looking disgusted at him. He wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't have to deal with him and I would even have to I would also get hear him his stupid annoying speech and then eventually um I would watch him fight Daniel and Daniel take him down and before the fight I'd be whispering to Tori and then they would show me and Tori looking at one point. I'd be like, I'd be like, in the background, like, and eventually all, oh yeah, and during the fight, I wouldn't have had to beat up any of the girls. I would use my Jackie Chan skills to cause them to beat them, to beat each other up accidentally. But eventually they would, my friends that were in Cobra Kai that were evil apologized to me and be friends with me. And then they joined Miyagi Do in season six. I wouldn't make it to the Sekai Taikai though. But other than that, um, I would have scenes with some of those people that I just mentioned. There's some people I wouldn't have scenes with, like Terry Silver, Crease, and yeah. But other than that, um, that is what I would think of what this is what I think of what I what if I was in Cobra Kai. I might not have been friends with the characters yet, but eventually off camera I would be friends with the actors and the actresses. And get to hang out with them, have fun with them, and yes. But that's, I mean, I would have my social breakdowns or something. I would probably, I'd still have autism, I'd still have my moments, but they'd still be there to back me up and help me. But this is what I would think, like, what if I was in Cobra Kai? What if I was in the show Cobra Kai? Oh yeah, maybe Drew and Shamoon and Cody, you know, those YouTubers, they'd be in it too. But this is what if, if I was in Cobra Kai. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Check out Ian Preston reviews. Link will be in the description. And remember, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Hiya!